So this is very interesting that when people say, how would someone live on the moon? The question really need to be asked is, what would it take for us to live on the moon? And if you start to think about it, people will say, there's so much radiation on the moon. How would you ever solve that problem? Now, imagine the nature has already solved that problem because we see the bacterial species that are growing in the radioactive nuclear waste. That means nature has figured out how to protect its DNA from extremely high radiation and use their source of radiation as energy. And the next question people say is, well, how are you going to grow the food on the moon? Well, that is a wrong question because the question should be, why do we need to eat the food and why is eating food necessary? And once you break it down that way, you will realize that you need food primarily for energy and you need for nutrients. What if we can be like plants, you can use the photosynthesis for energy or you can use the radiation for the energy. And then in terms of nutrients, the nutrients you may need are possibly hydrogen, oxygen or nitrogen. And if you have water on the moon, you can obviously break down the water into its ingredients, hydrogen and oxygen. And now the problem of living in the moon simply could be, how do we get the nitrogen on the moon? So now imagine living on the moon could simply be a problem of taking nitrogen on the moon. And that's how you take extremely complex problem, break it down into the pieces. And now an entrepreneur can solve that problem.